He's just trying to figure out how far he flies the ball. Oof. Yeah, pretty close. So it looks like it rolled a little far, so we probably want to get a little bit more loft, right? Sometimes I put it a little bit more forward in my stance if I'm trying to hit a little bit higher. Oh, he did it, didn't he? There it is. Look at that. That was pretty good. That's yeah, that one's going a lot slower. That was good advice right there, man. You, you might be able to teach this guy. Really? You <laughs> think? It's all in the student room. <laughs> he's making you look good. So he's he's going to take all the credit. Yeah, so make sure that always happens. Make sure you're swinging, you know, down that line that you want to, where you want to start the ball off, and then it's going to drift to the right. Too. All right, so there you use a little bit too much wrist there. A little bit. You just have more of a, yeah, if you just have a little bit more stable in the wrist, and you can come back and through. A little bit more consistent contact, I think. So let's practice. Let's work on that a little bit, actually. Just a little bit less wrist. Less You're hitting wrist. it. Yep. Because you kind, you kind of do. I know that we watched that push harm video where you, you know, when you're trying to get spin. You just slack. Yeah, when you kind of, you kind of lag it. But if you're, I mean, if it's just a simple shot like to this flag, there's no need to really, you know, like, you know, try to get spin on it and really use a lot of wrist. Rather, it's just a simple up back. Make your, make sure you're in good, like, impact position with your hands. Yeah. Just let's just try to try to keep it a little shorter, a little bit like kind of like a pop stroke, you know, like a like a snake or pop. It's just less wrist. Yeah, just, just low and just, just a little bit less wrist, more arms and shoulders. Yeah, so make sure you're aimed properly. So yeah, something also I've been focusing on is pre-shot routine. Okay. I mean, if you have any advice on how I should do it, I should do it. Pre-shot is mostly personal preference, but the way I look at it is I definitely want to, you know, take a second to survey the, the shot, you know, think of, you know, obviously which way it's going to break. And a shot like this, I'm always trying to leave it on the high side of the hole, because this is, this is basically an exaggerated putt. So what you want to do is just basically try to land it on the high side, and that's going to result in a shorter putt. So focus on line more. Right. I focus a lot on line, because I think that, you know, you're a good enough player where contact, yeah, contact and feel is already there. It's just trying to get it, trying to minimize error, basically. And if you leave it on the high side, then it's going to drift uh, towards the hole instead of away from it if you hit it too far. So, yeah, what I do is I pick a target that I kind of look at. Okay, just so a, so something beyond there's a dark, it or no, something on the green? Just anywhere in my line. Okay. There's a dark spot on the green okay. that I like to look at, and I try to focus my, my swing down there. I like that. And then I just set the line up to the So I think yeah, just on some of these I shots, to, especially the shorter ones. The short ones are easy. It's for just me. yeah, the yeah, a little bit less wrist break I think would be beneficial. Just for the keep, longer ones. What? For yeah, longer. for the longer ones too. I think just, I mean, you, when you hit it good, you hit it really good. But every once in a while, you know, you have that chunk. And I think that's due to a little bit excess movement. So I think if you just try to make it a little bit simpler, we're just kind of up and back and more of a, a shoulder, a shoulder rotation and. Almost like a like a mini full swing, but just a little bit less wrist. Not bad. So yeah, just here, just try to hit like you know like a, a regular pitch shot. Just no, don't try to hit high or anything like that. Just a regular one. I feel weird not to use as much wrist, but I think you can, you know, you're, you're, you're good enough to know when you need to get that little extra spin and that little extra loop in your swing where you, where you really lag it in there and then generate that spin versus one where it's just a little bit simpler just to, all you have to do is really, you know, instead of, you know, a lot of wrist, just back and then you know, just give it a nice little pop. Yep, and just a little bit less. So a little bit less of a risky shot, I think, if you take a little bit of wrist out.